basically information security uh, consultant. I earn my wages through stuff like VAPD, Wi-Fi audits, policy based yeah. audits, ISO 27000, yada, yada, yada. So I won't bore you with other stuff. Uh, electronics enthusiastic. And this year, like, uh, we had started uh, learning some new stuff uh, this year. So we were uh, working on some line following robots or autonomous uh, robots and stuff also. So also doing Nullcon batch this year. So uh, I'm currently having some uh, R&D into hardware attack uh, vectors also uh, into normal infrastructure. Uh, basically, I have seen, uh, and this is not uh, regarding uh, USB HID vectors as uh, everyone else is uh, uh, expecting because uh, I have seen multiple people like uh, in some talks also we have seen that uh, already people have uh, written uh, frameworks also for the uh, USB HID. So this is not a new topic uh, to anybody who is uh, interested into hardware. So basically I am interested into uh, some other uh, R&D uh, into hardware which might penetrate into uh, from a network layer or uh, similar kind of uh, things. Uh, since it is uh, in, into very uh, basic structure, uh, I might uh, have some talks later in uh, next year or in other conferences. Uh, this is uh, my partner Umesh. Uh, we call him like hardware scandal without handle. Uh, basically, <laughs> since yeah, because he gave one out here. What are you uh, basically because he doesn't uh, much uh, into online or web technology or like network stuff or any other kind of hacking. Uh, basically he belongs to the pure electronic and hardware uh, community. And uh, so pure electronic hacker, he doesn't really much involvement into web like other uh, things. Uh, for a living he is into repairing and rebuilding CNC machines uh, as an uh, engineer. And he is the founder of uh, Spartacus Foundation and through which uh, he does social work in Pune uh, where uh, he does work for the Rewind Home and Street Children in Pune. He also does rock climbing and trekking in leisure time or sometime in full time uh, business of his. <laughs> and sometimes he drags innocent people like me to uh, rock climbing and he will say uh, this is a very simple uh, trekking, we will go for it and when you go there you will find something like 50 or 100 meters rock like this. We will go up there like this. <laughs> so sometimes he drags us. <laughs> so what this talk is not about, uh, we are not uh, going to, into de much details of microcontroller. Microcontroller or uh, into uh, deep programming details. We will have just introductory part of this. Uh, programmer hardware circuits. Uh, we in this, uh, we will just have overview of these things, but we will not go into detail. Uh, this talk basically we wanted to uh, have regarding, we uh, already have shared information regarding the document basics, regarding microcontroller, any other programming hardware which is need, uh, any uh, hardware which can be uh, used to program these uh, chips uh, in uh, Nalcon site also. And we will, I will also uh, post it uh, on my uh, uh, Twitter uh, after, afterwards. Uh, so basically, uh, we are not uh, going in deep regarding uh, these uh, details. Uh, we both belong to uh, group Garage for Hackers. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> about this group, like uh, as we say, uh, it is. Uh, you can see uh, we are we are open security community where we uh, have come together with very uh, uh, lots of uh, security enthusiasts and gurus and in multiple topics like from hardware, electronics, and RF and stuff to uh, web technology, reverse engineering, and all the kind of stuff. So if you are interested into any kind of things, you can uh, join us in our uh, domain. Uh, like a uh, little bit about uh, our group, uh, we had uh, yes, uh, last year we had won uh, the bounty here in Nalcon for taking down the Trivnet uh, malware. Uh, like uh, so, some of like ASLR uh, bypass you uh, might have uh, seen regarding this uh, uh, presentation uh, some of uh, you might have seen in uh, uh, CanSequest but which was already discussed before that in our uh, forums uh, with uh, by our friend Vinu uh, 
uh, who is a security researcher. So we have very, uh, we have multiple people like we have uh, lots of people from Google, Facebook, Yahoo, uh, like uh, Hall of Prime uh, from these uh, countries. Uh, so uh, we are also regular present presenters in uh, chapters in multiple cities such as Bangalore, Pune, and some other cities. Uh, shouts to multiple people, A.B. Panter, Anil, Chaitanya. Uh, all these names are not fitting there, especially Bond for his remote support. So, <laughs> so what this, uh, what we would discuss, uh, what is this? So this is a hardware batch. Uh, we have made it as a general purpose kit. Uh, it contains an Atmega 8 chip. Uh, it contains some LED outputs as you can see, some sound output as buzzers and input switches and one other gadget. Uh, have you, have anybody of you guessed the circuit? Except you. <laughs> I know this person has guessed, guessed the circuit and he would be claiming price. If anybody else has not uh, guessed the circuit, like there were three uh, uh, contest. Cont uh, contest which uh, I will come up to and give the details regarding which. Uh, so this is uh, why we have uh, gone for uh, the Atmega 8 chip. Uh, like you can see some of the features of it. It is a small low power chip. Uh, it is much uh, cheaper where if you like uh, started, if you are a startup into uh, hardware programming, it is quite uh, possibility that uh, you might uh, do some wrong settings in the programmer and break your chip. So you should not be stuck with uh, very high end uh, and uh, very high price chips. So we thought it would be better to start up with a small price chip. It goes for around uh, uh, 80 to 100 rupees uh, depending on you, which city you are. It has multiple uh, features uh, like uh, it has uh, eight, by 8 bytes of uh, cell programmable uh, programming memory, uh, 512 EEPROM, uh, 1 KB internal ROM, RISC architecture. Uh, like it has, uh, for I have seen like uh, a small chip having 23 programmers, it is much too less in uh, cost because I have seen multiple times. Whenever we are starting something new, like if you are a little bit interested into electronics and if you want to learn uh, regarding uh, some microcontroller and other things, I have seen like uh, multiple in market, they are uh, giving some chips which are very uh, high in price. Uh, they are giving some circuits uh, which are very costly. So everybody is afraid like if I do something wrong in that, then I might uh, waste all of the money which I have, uh, which I have got into the uh, chip. So basically, uh, its uh, operating voltage is also low. Uh, we have used Atmega 8L chip uh, so that we can operate it from a small uh, cell here, uh, uh, three volt cell. So its operating voltage is having uh, 2.7 to 5 and 4. So uh, one important point that if you use uh, more voltage than 5 volt, then uh, you might burn your chip. So don't use other than 5 Normally if you use just normal USB connector, it would give you 5 volt. And without cell also, if you just connect your programmer here, it would be automatically powered through the programmer and you can uh, use it. So you don't need a different power supply or something. And uh, regarding yeah. speed, yeah, please. Uh, even if you want to use this uh, uh, circuit for higher voltage, uh, you can use uh, IC regulator IC7805. Yes, uh, it works up to maximum up to 30 volt DC and it converts that 30 volt to 5 volt. So for protection you have to use, use it. Or uh, for sale, uh, 5.5 is worth. So basically it uh, comes into two grades. So, uh, one is to up to 8 megahertz and uh, one is up to 16 megahertz. Depending on the supply because 8 mega it is having low supply, it cannot go up to 16 uh, megahertz. Uh, you like to add anything yeah, yeah. Uh, Then we come to the competition part. Uh, there was one other circuit in the competition. You might have seen in your brochures also this uh, current circuit diagram. So uh, one uh, first level of uh, competition uh, for this hardware was to identify this circuit and tell us how uh, it would be uh, working. So basically when we had started, we just had this circuit. Like when we had discussed regarding having a batch for Nalkwan, we were thinking like having just a small circuit which might uh, be useful to someone uh, in a regular use. So the first thought was to provide only one gadget and this circuit is actually an EMF detector. 
So it can detect uh, electromagnetic uh, force uh, uh, around it. Uh, basically, it is it gets activated when you press the last uh, switch. If you switch on and if you press the last switch, then this uh, cir circuit gets activated. And uh, you can uh, with this circuit, you can check out the existence uh, of a uh, like you might say what I might do with the EMF uh, uh, EMF detector. The very simple use of this might be uh, you can detect the AC power supply. We everybody have uh, uh, all of the equipments running on AC. Uh, without just touching to any live wire or anything, you can just uh, keep our this circuit near uh, near the wire, just uh, uh, half a centimeter or a little bit, uh, some millimeters away. And if the AC current is on, it would uh, this LED uh, would blink. Uh, this LED would uh, start. So. Uh, this uh, if this was the first level for the hardware batch, uh, like how uh, this circuit. Uh, so I have a, a LCD uh, 16 by 2 LCD with me, uh, which can be connected here and you can use it. So I have a question uh, for you guys, like if this is the circuit and if you have the same circuit diagram, if you answer this, how uh, like right now I have to just keep it one or two millimeters from the wire to get the EMF data, uh, very sim simple uh, solution can extend the range up to 2-3 centimeters. So if anybody uh, has uh, checked the circuit and he can tell me right now like how this circuit range can be extended, then uh, I, I will give, give you a, a 16 by 2 okay. LCD which can be fitted here <laughs> and you can use it with the Admega head. Uh, so I will not hurry it till the uh, uh, tonight uh, end also you can give it. So you don't have to tell right now in the top. I will uh, give you afterwards also. So like here we can see the working of the circuit. When we switch off the power, you can see the LED is glowing. We, when we switch, off, uh, switch it off, then uh, it, it is off. So it is detecting an AC uh, supply as I uh, said. It can detect other uh, EMF forces also like if you uh, keep it uh, nearby the microwave, it can detect a uh, microwave from uh, that also. It would depend on how much padding the microwave has and depending on the body. How, how should I do that? I should go nearby and then press this key? Or? Yes, yeah, yeah. That, that is uh, like a simple uh, power, like a power switch, this key would oh. just simple work as a power switch because it was eating too much power if we just keep it, if somebody just keep it on this uh, chip and this chip, so it was eating much power, so we just keep it as just yeah, okay. power switch. So you just pick it, press it there and okay. keep it near. Go near it will yeah. 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 And I think uh, other things I, when I had made a presentation, I had guessed that more people would, would have been guessed the, uh, the, this uh, particular level. <laughs> uh, I know you. You already knew it, so you you have not guessed it, Anil. <laughs> okay. So uh, ah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you also you, you also. also there. <laughs> the second level in the string was hidden in a, uh, it is a LED persistence of vision. So I had also given a hint that it is related to vision. So basically, what this circuit can do, if you just uh, swing your badge into the air and it might show you the exact different string. So it might not be visible here. It is but, visible. Ha, so I don't know uh, yeah, if this is. How to do that? Uh, uh, you, you have to one press one the first key to first start key. it. This, if you just press it for one second, it is should start. It will start. The LED start blinking. You, Need to on the switch and to the this side. Just press first key and you can do it. It's not working. This one, right? Yeah, also. Yeah, first one, first one. Yeah. Yeah. Now you just to now you can just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Look at it, brother. Okay. 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 Uh, which is uh, Morse code, like if you press this button, second button, you can uh, hear this. So this is actually a Morse code uh, string encoded into Morse code. So I thought uh, many people uh, would be able to uh, solve it, but 
Till now, only two people have uh, solved uh, this level. One of them is uh, sitting here right now. <laughs> Actually, Morse code is an essential part uh, of uh, last day, uh, last day of Earth ending. So, Morse code is a very powerful communication. Uh, at any uh, uh, hostile condition, you can communicate with Morse code. So, it's a uh, property. No, it's huh? a, it's a Morse code is a very life survival, life survival, life survival, life survival. <laughs> very intelligent tool. Yeah. yeah. And if you are into ham or something interesting, uh, these kind of things, then for a ham exam, yeah. it is a compulsory uh, topic. You should be able to recognize Morse code up to five WB. Five, five. Okay. So why, like, uh, lots of uh, people might uh, have the question, why, why are we making this kind of batches? What what is the uh, like exact reason behind this? This can be uh, there in market, readily available, some at mega programmable chip or something like that. But we have seen that comparatively, we have seen in Nalcon also. In like we consider hackers the geeks of the community, overall community. And in the hackers also, we have seen that very less people are involved into hard hardware stuff. So we thought that like something should be done to get uh, our hacker community motivated, like uh, get them interested in to get involved into hardware microcontrollers or these kind of uh, things. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so people, uh, so uh, we said uh, we can uh, anybody can program uh, this chip by using it. Has a standard USB ASP interface. You have multiple uh, uh, aware programmers available in the market. Uh, any of those programmers you can connect uh, here and the program the chip and control input outputs and uh, other stuff. You can also connect uh, LCD and uh, LCD can be worked with the uh, same chip also. We have left uh, some uh, pins uh, empty for the LCD connection on this side. Mm -hmm. And uh, for like normal program, if you are uh, new to uh, embedded, then basically uh, C language uh, is needed for AVR, AVR programming. Uh, so embedded, they call it embedded C, but basically it is um, like 90% or over 90% it is the same. Just some of the libraries are uh, different. So it is nothing uh, there to be uh, getting afraid of. Or if you know C language, you can uh, work on these kind of uh, micro microcontrollers also. Uh, a normal basic simple tool is there, uh, which is called AVR Dude. Uh, normally it is used to transfer the program into the chip. Uh, so if anybody uh, is very uh, pretty much uh, new to microcontroller, uh, it, microcontroller can only run a single program at a time. It doesn't have any OS or something. Either. It has a raw a single, you put a sing, uh, compiler program, you transfer it into it and it would uh, handle I.O. and uh, logic and all others, other stuff. Uh, uh, this you can write one lakh times. One lakh times. Yeah. Uh, Atmel uh, in their data sheet says that this uh, can be rewritten one lakh times. So that is I think mo more than uh, we can sir. Okay, ma maximum capacity. Uh, which one? Uh, Programmer. Uh, it is 5, five one two byte as I uh, said in uh, pre pre previous uh, slides. Can we connect USB to this? Or? Uh, yeah, there, the, the programmer would have one uh, connection like this and one connection would be uh, U USB connection. So uh, you, you, have, you can connect the, it to USB directly and other uh, side it would be have USB ASP. I will just show uh, the uh, uh, next slide, uh, the uh, photo of the programmer, you will get, get the idea of it. Yeah. So this is, this is the why. So this is uh, on the right side, this is a USB ASP sample programmer. So here uh, USB uh, uh, cable could be connected and this side you will see similar uh, pin like this uh, which can be connected to any of the boards. So here uh, what I was uh, coming to the point that we have seen such circuits in the market which are available from uh, 1500 to 3000 just uh, giving a USB programmer and this kind of circuit which has also similar it doesn't have a switch or something also it just has 8 LEDs and uh, nothing else, yet I has just given a uh, different uh, port, port out. So we thought that if we could uh, get uh, something uh, to people Ready. re readily available without investing any money, then they might be more uh, going into uh, AVR and other, other embedded things. So that's why we thought like uh, 
I am actually pretty much jealous of all the people who are working in US or UK who are working on hardware. Because I have seen whenever we are coming like uh, getting any circuit or something done, whenever I go and check for any component, I would like say this is this is the component, this is available in US for this, 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 you can order it via post. So for the people uh, who are uh, there uh, in, uh, outside, the price online availability and I have seen like uh, Eagle is a uh, free uh, software for uh, two layers uh, which can do uh, a PCB as well as uh, circuit design and we are, you can see like uh, it would be very easy uh, for anybody into UK or US that this kind of software you can just design a circuit and afterwards it would just generate a bill of materials it would say how many components are available on their site and you can select uh, in the multiple versions of the components and just order, order it there, there itself from the site and when we go here in India uh, we uh, say the name of the component no we have not heard of this component the, <laughs> the shopkeeper in the electronics uh, hobbies shop also would be doing do it, do it like, like this so this, this was one of the reasons like uh, hardware hacking uh, in uh, our difficult. India is a little, little bit difficult. <laughs> so there, as I say, uh, it is much more simple. Like just one, two, three, make a circuit, check component available online, order it, and you will get get the circuits. <coughs> in India, if you check before any circuit building, you have to run across all the market, check the availability of electronics components. Component IDs given in all any online material would not be there in India. So you would get something manufactured in China which would not have a component ID. So very much problem. Uh, we have seen students, this is also a, a very much problem against uh, electronic hobbies that we have seen students are very much threatened again damage to electronic component like they would say you will burn a register, you will burn this thing. Then this register comes for a 25 or 30 paise in the market. But if you see in college, the instructor will be saying, no, 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 you should be handling it very carefully. <laughs> Let the kid burn some register, what's the problem in that? So, the, we have seen that uh, this kind of uh, scenario is, uh, due to this kind of scenario, we are having very uh, less uh, 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 hardware hackers in India. So, uh, they are not encouraged to experiment and get, uh, uh, and saying that something could be damaged or something. Let it damage. <laughs> yeah, we will say let it damage. So, so <coughs> I have also seen very less use of softwares into electronics. Like these electronic community and our software community is like going just two different ways. They would not see to each other. I was very much surprised when we were working on uh, batches, we came across some multiple uh, good softwares. Uh, like Protus or uh, Eagle which uh, can be used to circuit design as well as PCB design and when I had shown uh, these kind of circuits to Umesh like he is working into uh, electronic market more than I think 20, 20 years but he was also surprised oh how you can do when I have done the PCB design of the same batch in one day he was surprised like this how have you have done this in uh, so much less time so there are yeah. yeah, yeah, it is already actually it is a very complicated thing to learn those sort of things with uh, all uh, technical recommendations in one day. See, he's a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I will accept that. I was yeah. not a smart guy, but let that point, point be alone. But it is very much, uh, very much, very good tools are also uh, available. Like if you are going into uh, this kind of hardware or embedded thing, very, uh, pre, uh, very large number of tools are right now uh, available in the market. Most of them are freewares also. You can use it to not only design circuits, you can use it to simulate the circuits. The uh, softwares are also simulating the microcontroller also. So if you uh, fearing that you might burn this, you can just simulate it on your PC first. Try check the, the simulators will have all the components. You can put all the complete circuit on the simulator. Try what it is do doing. It would simulate the same thing which would which might be happening. So you can simulate it, then try uh, on the uh, physical level also. So that uh, so that that was the point regarding the software. So if you are going into embedded, uh, just uh, check out some of the softwares we have uh, also listed uh, in our null brochure, and we will be giving it online also. So coming to history. Uh,
so as the slide says we are not going to talking about the hardware history or the microcontroller history we are only talking about the badge design history uh, you might say it is so long uh, little bit uh, i will try to compress it so initial idea uh, we had uh, initial idea that why not create a hardware badge instead of some normal paper badges at uh, nullcon this uh, idea was produced at one uh, null and garage for hackers uh, combined meeting and uh, my friend anil who was sitting here uh, he's, he called me he said uh, we are discussing about electronics and hardware batches and your name first came into my mind so how can, what can we do so after that we talked with uh, uh, asim murthuda and antrix other uh, other people and then we discussed like what kind of uh, uh, ideas uh, we could be doing there uh, for uh, this batch so then lots of r and d was uh, done so there were ideas such as tv remote jammer uh, ir communication in between batches my friend umesh uh, would be just eager to tell his ideas about the ir communication so <laughs> if you want yeah yeah, yeah. yeah ir spy <laughs> that was my fantasy <laughs> <laughs> he wanted communication between the two batches and he wanted like uh, sending sms through broadcasting via the uh, multiple uh, batches you so that I everybody in nalcon like here i want to send a message to some person if i know the id batch id i would send it uh, through ir anybody near me would broadcast it again and that way after multiple broadcast it might uh, reach to the person so it might reach to a person not a so, <laughs> 100% so, you have it <laughs> so in r and d we were working uh, like we at one uh, time we had full uh, 16 by 2 character lcd display with light sensor temperature sensor clock stopwatch etc etc uh, but some ideas were dropped due to money 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 <laughs> uh, some ideas dropped due to less time uh, uh, we were not getting much time to do r and d on uh, some electronic idea and some due to again hardware components availability and some components having much cost so whenever we were uh, producing in much larger amount then uh, you have to again uh, think of the co cost lots of times so like this was the first uh, basic uh, circuit which we had designed it had a uh, temperature sensor there Uh, a light sensor as well as a lcd and it was having a menu to uh, select multiple uh, things like if you want to read temperature you want to show uh, what is the light sensor reading or any other thing yeah, lux right, meter right, not con that uh, is not not con uh, ha well, we had also uh, planned that yeah. we will have a null con schedule in it so schedule. since it is had a uh, clock so you just uh, at the uh, uh, time at particular, yeah, yeah. at particular so you just say you, you would get like uh, this stock would be there at this location yes. so these all uh, ideas were there it was yeah. almost it uh, completed but then again uh, dropped due to when reasons <laughs> <when you're laughs> uh, this was the first uh, design we had done like we had thought that we will give, give just uh, small like we have a uh, no, small size batch and we'll give just this circuit which we are using as a competition uh, emf detector so it can be just used as a tester or something like ac detecting ac current or something so this was the first uh, yes. idea and this is the picture of our first uh, uh, emf detector and this is our first poe so we had built uh, this we had also uh, some <laughs> other sensor in it uh, yeah. a uh, mercury switch to sense it uh, like that out of that so this was the uh, pov tool which we were uh, trying to uh, build as a idea uh, some switches and interfaces like uh, in the r&d stages uh, like how uh, we should uh, doing the uh, switches so at one stage uh, in my house also my wife was asking are you ever going to finalize what exactly you are making because every time she would be seeing something different to we are putting together that you know what is this so we would explain this is the idea this is the idea so again one time she said are you exactly final it so after lots of research <coughs> we had done a lots of research for before finalizing this design also we faced lots of problems uh, such as not uh, getting proper components the local supplier is 
Uh, we had press, uh, I don't know, one uh, local supplier had given a USB programmer circuit which was uh, having a different connections for the USB ISP. So two, three times we created a circuit, we connected his uh, supplier, programmer, and when we tried to program, it would break the chip. And we were just mad, uh, what is wrong with our circuit? And actually the problem was in the USB programmer who, who had made, uh, he, he had switched the miso mosi connections, if you uh, know uh, about the connections. He wants to say that he's a programmer <laughs> as well as his developing kit. Uh, so he, <laughs> in his developing kit also, these, these connections were switched uh, and his programmer also. So if you uh, they, they were, connect other circuit. <laughs> so, practice. <laughs> So again, uh, the batch size, uh, how much circuit we are putting, how much uh, uh, area we would be giving for uh, other putting the name and other <laughs> functionalities, what functionalities uh, should be put. Uh, so these all I have done. So, but uh, the credits uh, of the R&D, uh, first and important support for uh, our R&D is yeah. my wife, Trupti. Coffee. Uh, so, no, who tea. encouraged us, provided us unlimited supply of food, <laughs> tea, coffee, at whatever time we were doing uh, our R&D. <coughs> Sorry. And she also kept my little angel daughter, Ishani, from taking our soldering gun, because whenever we were having some uh, soldering and programming, my daughter was used to come and she was uh, trying to get the soldering guns, so which we were uh, pretty much afraid of. And so it is a uh, long journey from very first prototype when we had fixed uh, the uh, prototype. <coughs> it is a pretty much long journey from the first prototype uh, towards the. Uh, so I think uh, Umesh might yeah. uh, share, like to share uh, some thoughts. I want to share some uh, useful tips while uh, making uh, a number of batches. Hmm? Uh, I will just read. Hmm? Uh, one uh, one is that uh, fix. First, fix the concept, what you have to do, what you are expecting from your circuit. Hmm? Then, draw the circuit. And at what cost? The cost is in terms of time and money. That's the first thing. Design is not our job. Just search for Google God. So, don't put yourself into design. That's a very muddy thing. Hmm? So, act third. The actual PCB size has to be more than 200%, approximately 200% more than the actual component side, individual component side, the aggregated uh, area covered by components. Huh? Your design should be 200% more. Huh? Uh, then, uh, you should have mounting provisions. Uh, because unless uh, you uh, don't think of that, while uh, after while fitting in a the box, there, there is no mounting provision and you will be in the trouble. Uh, though you get uh, high-tech PCB design software, hmm? uh, you have to again check what you had arranged or what you have done is as per your expectation. It doesn't mean that you are using higher uh, higher quality software is giving you higher quality result. Yeah. Then one line is that asking question is better than assumption. Please. It's a white area. <coughs> PCB man when manufacturer requires positive, negative, masking ident, component ident, track view, normal or an oblique mirror. Under understand these uh, code words of PCB manufacturer. Like when you are doing uh, on prototype or some your personal basis, you might not come under this category. But yeah. if you uh, are the batch maker of next year, you might be. Then uh, you uh, would be coming across these kind of problems uh, when of manufacturing course. in large scale. Yes, yes. Uh, <coughs> leave, uh, while doing some circuit, leave test points in your design. Because after completion of design, it is uh, if you come across some problems, you have to break that design into... Uh, that basic big problem into small problems and you have to provide some uh, fastest facilities for yourself. So uh, problem with power, uh, circuit you have to break with power, uh, then IC uh, power, then output power and uh, input power. Hmm? You have to check, uh, you have to put checkpoints for the, those sort of things. So uh, it will help you to get be better result in a uh, uh, small time. 
track uh, track width uh, has to be uh, if though between uh, distance between two 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 track widths uh, should be uh, more enough so uh, shorting between two tracks circuit circuit tracks uh, will be avoided hmm? uh, if you have any uh, problem with track width or drill uh, size you have to discuss with the uh, pcb manufacturer because some PC, uh, pcb manufacturer don't have facility to produce small number of tracks and even a small number of drills though they are manufacturer they don't have that much capacity so if you design too much and very well organized pcb it may not be possible for him to produce reproduce that in a proper way and then if you force him or he go under some other chance and then will chaos only uh okay uh, put minimum jumpers in circuit you have to uh, put sometimes you have to put jumper due to the avoid compl complexity of tracks but put minimum jumpers and if you have to go in, uh, if you are uh, going to put uh, jumpers uh, put uh, prior uh, priority wise as a uh, for positive uh, supply huh? don't put jumpers yeah. at first for signals huh? then uh, placement of components should be uh, near to each other eh? so uh, one part of uh, circuit should not be far away from this its other relatives mm -hmm. and then direction of uh, direction of component on uh, pcb like diode transistor uh, should be maintained as aesthetic and then also that helps for the uh, analyzing of problem mm -hmm. then then uh, tracks between two leads so, uh, that is uh, actually not uh, that is not a good practice to uh, draw tracks between uh, between uh, 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 components uh, between two leads of components it is like something someone walking through between two your legs eh? it, it should be avoided but if it is there then you have to consider that the track width and the shorting and because uh, while manufacturing pcb the uh, uh, itching process is really different and they spray uh, acids to, on that uh, copper plate and that uh, if that uh, is under not uh, it is it has got uh, lost that control then there will be ga uh, bridging gaps between two uh, tracks and if it is uh, small uh, then it won't matter for you but uh, if he damaged something like ic so damage is much more because co costing of pcb say 40 rupees and the ic it will damage it may be 400 rupees uh, so think of that then uh, uh, while testing after uh, completion of pcb uh, see visual uh, plus make a visual inspection of what you are expecting and what what is there on the pcb though here again if you are uh, completing your work through professional people so there is a person behind those that organization this, uh, and they are making mistakes so again you have to think that you have to visually inspect that uh, that uh, pcb and then uh, yeah, yes 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 yes, 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 yes one minute uh, then uh, without putting ic just uh, uh, put uh, give power supply to uh, circuit without putting ic because <coughs> if there is problem the ic will not short then component will component will cost 1 rupees and IC will not. Eh? So, without putting IC, just uh, go on that. Then, uh, don't afraid of, uh, uh, for such a sort of, sort of circuit, don't afraid of if component getting burnt. The register is cost uh, for th 30 paisa, the diode is cost for uh, say 50 paisa, then uh, LED cost for 1 rupees. Eh? If, if, if see all the component birds, it may not be more than 30 rupees. So, <laughs> be happy. <laughs> so, a long journey between getting uh, these prototypes and getting first assembled pieces in hand. So, after getting uh, hands on first assembled pieces also, the journey was not over. We were testing some of the few samples and we just heard a sound. But, so we were just thinking, what, is, what was it? So, I don't know if anybody of you seen exploding <laughs> LED. <laughs> you might have seen exploding capacitors, the resistor might be getting burned, but actually when we had some of our batches, first batches, 
actually the LED broke and it half. broke into half and we were like huh? what happened so actually while doing the assembly they had shorted some transistor but due to which the LED just got uh, exploded like a capacitor but say I think giving a sound and it got uh, into half <coughs> so there was some problem as I said uh, so before first uh, getting first assembly uh, piece uh, sam sample, uh, we needed a sample, uh, we had a sample on general purpose, we needed a uh, PCB to be designed. So sample PCB had to be made and checked to be shown uh, to the other people. So getting one or two sample PCB from the PCB makers is just like getting milk out of the bowl. So sorry for <laughs> the language, I didn't remember any other comparison while I was making the slides. <laughs> So we need to finalize the error, uh, had to finalize the errors in, uh, in the PCB, then again uh, finalize the indent like which is uh, printed here on the PCB before getting the samples. Uh, we had to purchase the materials, so I know we guys, we are being engineers, we don't uh, like to get involved into purchasing and other, uh, this kind of stuff, but for C this we C CST had to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, CST, BST. <laughs> So here, yeah, while purchasing materials, too, uh, we, we had multiple problems. Since too many people were giving too many rates or something, everybody would say that uh, others are giving duplicate material, we are giving uh, original material. And getting the information about verifying genuine components, you wouldn't uh, get that from uh, any known person. And after all those things, verifying genuine components, getting quotation and uh, then one uh, fine day we had all of the components in our hand in, our, in uh, my home. So then afterwards uh, the came uh, point uh, towards assembly and PCB. So since we are not a regular uh, customers of these guys, we, uh, we couldn't uh, solder 400 batches ourselves with two guys. So we had to give it to some assembly people. So since we are not a regular customer, they would give to priority their uh, run of the wheel jobs, other jobs. We cannot push there for credit or faster jobs or anything else. So we don't have much choices uh, on, on lower rates. Also, we had a time crunch too because we were already late due to the PCB uh, manufacturer, which I would come to later. And assembly was going on till the day before conference. When we had come here, uh, day before conference, then also we were sorting some, uh, some of the components there, uh, which were re remaining. <coughs> so lessons learned. Being an engineer doesn't make uh, us good at uh, producing mass number of product. To produce uh, this kind of mass number of product, you have to learn lots of lots of things. Uh, some engineer would in your team will always uh, think that highest price things are very good, and uh, he might be looking not looking at the budget. He would say like we will have this component, that component, and you would be saying that oh I have to multiply four hundred so by he, the price. He, he must you, you, he must hate you, <laughs> you <are. laughs> Remember. So uh, also someone would say that if you so just show some jazzy circuit to some the sponsor and other, then they would just pour in money. Oh yes. Please develop all the things, yes, but okay. this was not the case. We had pretty much high advanced batches also, but due to economical reasons, we had to uh, scale down little, little bit also. So we had, uh, while producing masks, we had to think about the price and availability on mass scale. Like sometimes some components you would get on some uh, five, ten, ten cup pieces, but when you go and ask for uh, four hundred pieces, three thousand pieces, two thousand pieces, they uh, their availability is not there timely availability is not there and anyway, anyway they would say anything like uh, when we were there they would say from uh, 15 January there is a Chinese New Year and 15 days all things would be closed you would not get any components I was like huh what you guys are telling to me so again technical uh, lessons also uh, what we learn one should also check uh, various limits uh, in uh, uh, local area manufacturers and supplies before fi finalizing any kind of things. So uh, these are all PCB manufacturer components. These uh, things should be there. Uh, you also should be checking about the physical thing. Like we were uh, also checking would this sling fit into the PCB or not? How much uh, bigger hole he has put in the sling or not? So these kind of uh, things also uh, we had to uh, take in care. <coughs> Then uh, making changes in circuit and changing the whole circuit, 
is better than fighting with the suppliers and the PCB manufacturers. So when we are developing on mass scale, like uh, uh, like making changes, where if you find uh, like the PCB manufacturer is not capable of doing some small uh, tracks that you have done, then it is better to have like some jumpers and other stuff than to fight with him to get the small tracks PCB, some high end PCB or something. And while developing on mass scale, more than 100 pieces, you should always, are uh, whatever you think that you would be able to capable of uh, doing it in two months, three months, just add one more month to whatever timeline you are doing, <laughs> doing, doing it. So it would be better. And start the development before and when, whenever you uh, want these uh, PCBs. <coughs> Actually, you have to write down daily data and daily activities, uh, report like thing. That helps too much. Be serious in that while making those sort of 100 times. More than 100 type. So, some more lessons. Like, we learned a lot of lessons uh, through this. So, don't involve all the engineers in uh, other process other than R&D. Like, if you involve all the engineers into purchasing and all other things, then you would definitely get into problem. Uh, electronic engineer sometimes thinks he knows it all, but it is not the case most of the times. Even the experienced ones. Like, <laughs> for some examples, uh, the electronic engineer would say that 220 ohm would be okay if you, uh, in the replacement of 47 ohm. Chalta hai, chalta hai. But it is not the case. When we are <laughs> trying out with the IR circuits, it only works on the 47 ohm resistor, the IR LED. And when we had uh, put the 220 ohm resistor, it was not working. <laughs> so, chalta hai, chalta hai, nahi chalta hai. <laughs> so, <laughs> 5, 5 volt buzzer is not correct for a 3 volt supply. So, <coughs> you might have, uh, some of you might have faced some problems in the buzzer like small uh, sound or something, something. It is because all of the circuit was designed but we didn't have uh, space and uh, other uh, economics for giving better supply. So we were running on 3 volt supply and this kind of buzzer basically if you connect uh, the USB uh, supply it would give full uh, sound and something but on the cell sometimes it gives uh, small sound or sometimes it stops in between so it is a problem uh, while we had that so about uh, PCB manufacturers and uh, uh, lessons learned like PCB manufacturer as he said he said some good thing uh, I am saying whatever we had faced he is the person he would say any anything you would give him he would say we cannot draw small track we cannot drill this kind of size he would say suddenly my PCB designer is not available for next 10 days. So whatever you are designing, <laughs> we will not be able to give you. So, <coughs> he would even try what type of circuit design files. Yeah. Like we were, we were uh, we had tried multiple files like Eagle files or Procus software we had used. So whatever files, I uh, interested in standards, I would send to the PCB designer. He would say, no, these files are not opening at our end. So whatever, what the hell are you are using at your end, just tell me. Because all the files, I had to send all the standard international format files when we are doing a PCB design. But he would just say, those files are not working. <coughs> he would also be the same guy who would say, we cannot create a slot like this. You would, you would ask for a slot like this, you would say, no, no, no. We are, we are not capable of do, doing things like this. And like being hacker, we uh, we were trying to also stretch them on a different level, like putting some circuits. Like uh, some of you might have seen the circuit uh, <laughs> below, at, below the, the, at the bottom. Yeah. This is actually a complete Atmega uh, programmer, oh, yeah. USB ASP programmer. Uh, it just uh, doesn't have components connected. So anybody interested, he can get the circuit diagrams we have already shared. Uh, we link is shared. Yeah. Uh, anybody who is interested, who can connect the components here. The components are also not that, that much uh, costly. You can connect the components and you can have your USB ASP programmer in home also. Yeah. If you are able to assemble this. And directly you can connect a FRC cable here and progr program your... 10 uh, pin so. FRC cable with a <coughs> square head. So regarding the component supplies, I would just uh, go in uh, faster because we have less time. Like prices, availability, yeah. yeah. Can you tell me what all uses I can have and what all I can try out with this? That would be more interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, like basically, uh, it is a pro progr programmer, microcontroller uh, chip. So uh, it is capable of interfacing multiple things. Like uh, what we had shown, like a temperature sensor, a light sensor, 
uh, you can connect a magnetic uh, type of sensor. Any sensor which uh, might be uh, possible working on TTL, uh, you can connect these uh, sensors to here. You can uh, got your own program. You can also connect LCD to show your output uh, to uh, these kind of things. And uh, like you can be doing, like we, we had uh, uh, connected RF uh, chips also, like uh, the chips which are used in car uh, remotes also. These are also capable to connect to this. You can program like if you uh, want to brute force the RF cores of some car, you can program the brute forcing program here, connect the uh, RF chips uh, and the TTL pins here and you can uh, try out that also. Though brute forcing is not possible because it is having a different circuit to generate a random number. So too much uh, uh, statistics is, uh, is pretty much high. But you would be able to do lots of things like any uh, components uh, available, sensor, multiple sensors which are available in the market could be poss possibly co connected to this. And the programming language is also pretty, pretty simple. So uh, you uh, you could be uh, doing any any of this uh, with the uh, with the same circuit. Uh, I you want to add one point? Like yeah. You know, one of the best usage people are tend to use uh, tend to design the circuits for POV. You know, we can design or we can use this devices to uh, you know send a gift to our friend and get with the hidden message inside this POV. We can use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is, is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So have, the smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> the POV persistence of vision, which we saw the Nalcon uh, yes, the thing no, is, no, is, instead of that is the called as uh, POV persistence of vision. There, so, time between one frame and next frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, we have designed this one small one, which we show earlier, small one. I have designed the small for that, that same purpose. So, I have first design in my mind was giving a keychain to the Nalcon people, which would only have this kind of eight LED small one, have one POV. And just if you uh, circle it round and round, you would show some name. So you can change the pro programmatically, you can change the name. Like uh, we will also share the program. You just change the string in it, and you can uh, have your friend's number, uh, name, and then, and you can uh, gift it to them. It would be a different uh, kind of gift, and it would only cost you some uh, two, two fifty, three hundred something. Just like Even you can use that uh, uh, for door security. So for uh, instead of button. You use uh, that uh, any input uh, circuitry, sensing, sensing circuitry, and for output LEDs, you have to connect uh, 5 volt uh, relay. Then the <laughs> from 5, 5 volt, you can change any damn thing. Uh, so any high elect electronic cutoff circuits, like yeah, you yeah. have some uh, IR sensor, uh, you can connect an IR sensor uh, here, yeah. and you can connect a relay. Yeah. So on remote, you can control your uh, electronic circuitry also. So home automation system could be possible on the same. This uh, uh, you want you, you want I, the, if you if you connect IR over here, you can uh, operate it for from on your uh, normal remote control. Because, uh, and it, it won't require any uh, programming for that. For me, I mean IR programming, IR code programming is not needed for that. We we even can use our circuit in this to switch on and off. <laughs> no, so that, that is not the that is not that is not the car hai. So we hope you li like the hardware batch yeah, and good. you do get involved into uh, AVR for microcontrollers. So next time uh, I hope to see more people involved into hardware or embedded electronics. So have a nice time hardware hacking. So take care. Thank you. And uh, one more uh, an announcement uh, uh, to be uh, to, to be done. Uh, like this, we had the, this uh, co competition here uh, of three uh, levels. So uh, basically, uh, sadly, no one was able to complete all the three le three levels. But Mr. Harshvardhan Sharma, who is here, who was able to complete the two uh, levels uh, for the first circuit and the Morse Morse code. So we have uh, discussed with the null guys, and since uh, he had. Yesterday, <laughs> it's a piece of this null con and the goal is a null con was wrong. Which one? Yeah, one, one uh, you, you had uh, tell me two things. One one was wrong. You you had come up with one uh, correct circuit here. Yeah. No, I said null con. You said it was wrong. Yes. Yeah, you said it yeah. was wrong. Which, this one? Second, yeah, null yes. It is, it, is, it is Goa 2004. Ah, that I said. Goa 2014, I said. Ah. Right. That I said a Nalcon also I said to you yesterday. Nalcon, you, you said this one Nalcon, again said you uh, go, go uh, regarding this No, one. I said the mail also for that matter.
Yeah, we have. Uh, okay, we, we can ch check the mail also because uh, before, <laughs> okay, before you also uh, this this one this, this guy was first uh, who had reached to us regarding 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 the answer. Sequence part. So uh, in the sequentially also uh, he he might get, get the preference because uh, in that case also two uh, only two answers would be uh, there there. Uh, so uh, we had talked that uh, since no one was able to complete. The guy who uh, reach up first uh, with the most answers, uh, Mr. Harshwardhan Sharma, would be getting a free uh, pass for Nalcon uh, next year uh, from the Nal people. Wow. So,